Hello world. Today I want to talk to you about traveling while you're pregnant. Now I am here in Paradise Island, Bahamas, on my baby moon with my husband. And I'm so happy I traveled while I was pregnant. Because it is making me enjoy life and also thinking about what it's going to be like as me, a travelista, who I love, to, where I love to travel, will be experiencing this with my unborn child very soon. So I wanted to give you some tips on traveling while you're pregnant. So I know some people may be a little bit scared or afraid to travel while you're pregnant, and that's valid. What you need to do is always take care of yourself and consult with your doctor before making any uh, changes or travel movements or things of that nature. So that's definitely tip number one. <laughs> consult with your doctor to make sure you're fine. And also, if, when you're traveling, get a letter from your doctor. Like I got a letter from my doctor stating exactly my time frame and that I was okay to travel because the airlines, they can act funny if they want to. Um, my experience here they were very accommodating and um being that you're pregnant you can get on first which i love knowing that if i wasn't pregnant i would be online just like everybody else so um definitely take advantage of that but some other tips will be to stay hydrated now this is something that i've did before I drink a lot of water but I'm drinking increasingly more water because Jerry, we have two chairs. I know it's not just me that I'm thinking about right now and getting dehydrated is real and you don't want to get dehydrated especially with you not being home so drink water and then also walk around on the plane every say hour hour and a half because you want to keep that blood flowing Go to the bathroom. They recommend having the aisle seat. For me, I love the window seat, so I sit by the window and on the plane from my area to Bahamas, it was a two seater, so two aisle and then two. Um, and the bathroom was right in front of us. We were in the first row. So know where the bathroom is because you are gonna have to keep going. And then also have some healthy snacks. For me, my go-to is wheat thins. It's something that I can travel with, something that I really like, and it tastes good to me. And it's still healthy. So have your snacks, have your water, consult your doctor. And then when it comes to the activities you'll normally do while you're away, for example, for me, I'm usually on excursions, walking and doing all that stuff, it's gonna get cut down. So for me, I walked around with flip-flops for a couple of miles, because um, I'm at the beautiful Atlantis, and you walk from one end to the other, and that was just too much. So I ended up getting a cramp in my leg. So I was walking around in flip-flops. That's a no-no. If you're gonna walk for a long distance, put on the appropriate shoes. So for me, I have my running shoes, which I can walk in as well. I should have had those on, so lesson learned from that. But make sure you enjoy yourself. I highly recommend a Baby Moon. It's something that you and your spouse can bond on and just have a good time and we're probably going to talk about the little one I know we did and we're just happy to be blessed with the opportunity to be parents and have our little bundle of joy which we call baby love um, about to arrive within the next couple of months we're hoping baby love cooks inside I don't know if you can see, but my belly is down here. We hope baby love will cook inside until April as planned. Um, every time I go to the doctor, they're like, oh, maybe a little bit earlier. And I'm like, no, let's keep it to April. So that is the plan. Um, and where I stayed, there was a lot of kids, um, which was fine. Before, it would be like, uh, there's a lot of kids running around what's going on. But... It's gotta be me soon. Having a stroller, having kids. Um, what I liked about Atlantis is that 
they had a lot of kid initiatives like i even participated in one of the arts and crafts things because i'm a kid at heart um they have cooking classes for them they have games they have karaoke they have their own little club and different activities for them to do so if you're interested in traveling to the Atlantis, i recommend that it's pretty cool a little pricey i would say that um but it's definitely a cool experience so thank you for watching and if you have any questions about a baby moon why you do a baby moon traveling while you're pregnant just anything just let me know i am on facebook um it's facebook.com slash crystal galladay that's my last page my last page my like page so all you have to do is like it and you know you can message me there um and it's facebook f-a-c-e-b-o-o-k dot com slash c-r-y-s-t-a-l-g-o-l-i-d-a-y i hope all is well with you i am not looking forward to going back to the winter weather but i'll be back soon but for right now i'm gonna enjoy the sun and maybe get a little tan but i'm just relaxing this is my type of weather so until next time take care Bye.